It's Monday, February 15th. Let's take a look at the headlines on Tech Me Now. Try GoToMeeting free for 30 days. Visit gotomeeting.com slash tech podcasts. Microsoft has officially unveiled its next generation mobile operating system. Its name is Windows Phone 7 series. The interface for 7 is a complete departure from previous versions of Windows Mobile and borrows heavily from Microsoft's personal media player, the Zune. Additionally, the media player on 7 is pretty much the Zune but in an app form. 7 will also have Xbox Live integration. The initial reactions from both Gizmodo and Engadget are incredibly positive. Windows Phone 7 series will not be available until this holiday season. Last week, Google introduced Google Buzz, a social networking service within Gmail. Almost immediately, people realized there were privacy concerns like exposing your contacts list. Google has made some changes since then. First, it turned off auto-following. When a user would join Google Buzz, that user would then follow some of his or her contacts automatically. That feature is now off by default. Google Buzz also automatically would show shared items from your Google Reader, as well as Picasa, in your Buzz feed. Google has now turned off that feature as well, but you can turn that back on if you want. Another complaint. There was no easy way to change your Buzz settings. Google has now added in a Buzz tab to Gmail settings. It's nice that Google responded so quickly to complaints, but will this response be good enough for users? We'll see. Adobe announced Flash and Adobe Air for Android. This latest version of Flash is now a beta, and some are reporting that Flash-heavy sites like ESPN look promising. There is some more Flash news. Windows Mobile 7 will not support Flash initially, but a plugin is expected to take care of that later. A demo video also shows Air running on a Motorola Droid. Air is Adobe's development environment. A developer will write an application for Air, and if Air is installed on a device, that application can run on that device. This would mean a developer could write an application for Android, and it could also work on the iPhone and WebOS if those devices supported Air. With many phones sharing similar characteristics like touchscreen and multi-touch, this could be a great help for app developers. And that's what's important in tech right now. Remember, you can subscribe to any of our shows at techv.com. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I'll see you later.